Let me go ahead and help you out here. Here's some water. Oh my god. How many baby crawfish do we have here, guys? Last time on Joey Slam Z. There is an infestation inside my crawfish tank. So we're gonna go ahead and clean every single crawfish with a toothbrush. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. Guys, oh my god. Oh. We did it again. We did it again. I think we have more crawfish babies. We got eggs. I'll show you in a second. I don't know if you guys can see that, but check that out, guys. I know I've left you hanging the last episode, but you wanted your crawfish baby update. You're getting your crawfish baby update with a little special. We have more crawfish baby. Go ahead and check them out right there, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and move this so you can go ahead and see mama crawfish with her crawfish babies. She's gonna lose her mind, but we're moving that over there. She still needs to go ahead and get her little scrub-a-dub-dub. But guys, look at those eggs. Now, I'm a little concerned. They could be both blue crawfish babies or regular crawfish babies, but she has so many worms on her. I don't know how I'm gonna go ahead and get these worms off of her. Cause I wanna make sure that these eggs hatch. Let's see what's going on. She has a lot of eggs, a lot of eggs. All right, I got her. All right guys, so now that we have some lighting, let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. Check this out guys. If you look right here, there's some worms, but these are her eggs. Now, we, they could be a combination between blue and brown crawfish because we do have two males that are both of the opposite color. Or, I don't wanna say it, but she, these could be some infertile eggs because the orange coloration on the eggs means an infertile egg. But we're hopeful because I have seen blue crawfish have orange eggs and they hatch and there's a whole bunch of blue crawfish. So let's go ahead and try to clean her up. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at these eggs. I'm gonna secure these claws. Oh my goodness. Look at how many eggs are in here. She has that film that helps them stick together. Look at that, that's crazy. So. I'm gonna try my best to clean her up but not stress her out too much because she has a lot of worms herself. Obviously, I can't brush her underside, but I can only brush over here. So as you can see, I did my best. She still has some worms crawling around her and um, we're gonna have to just set up her tank and just have her nurture these eggs. And once they're 100%, then I'm gonna go ahead and clean her because she has a couple worms right here, guys. I don't wanna go ahead and stress her too much. So we're just gonna have her babies here I think they're in, you know what guys, how about this? In the comments below, let me know what you think. If all of these eggs are infertile, if they're blue crawfish babies, or if they're regular crawfish, because look, it's a mixture between blue and black, if you can see that, which is very, very interesting, very, very unique. I'm gonna continue to spray her with some water, and I'm gonna keep her in the sink while we set up her new tank. Guys, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys something super, super cool. Come check this out in my hand. Look at this. These are the molts from most of our crawfish here. Now, one, two, three, four, this is all mama craw. This is Crayola, and this is blue. Look at that. So I've been keeping them, I wanna see how many times they mow. I wish I could keep their entire body, but I leave it in there so that they can go ahead and eat. It's very good to leave your crawfish entire molt in there while they eat, but isn't this cool, guys? That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and set up mama craw's tank. All right, guys, so if you wanna check it out, look at this. Got a Fluval spec Now, I didn't pay $69.99 doll hairs. I actually got it off of OfferUp. It was a good price. I got this one and another tank. You'll see that tank possibly in another video when we go ahead and set it up for some other stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and set this up. I'm gonna grab that well water and we're gonna be on our way. So guys, we're at Beverly's and I'm getting the medication I need to go ahead and treat our crawfish. And I got Mordel Quick Cure. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get some some platies and stuff. Yeah, can we get some Molly's platies? Something fish that you, oh fish zole. Yeah, fish zole or no? No, no fish zole. Fish zole is another good remedy as well. But I'm thinking about getting some some platies, some Molly's and stuff to go ahead and eat up eat up these worms. Let me get three of those. Three of those. Let me get three of those, and then we'll get um. These are kind of cute, so I guess we'll get a couple of these as well. So I guess three per tank, so we'll get a total of nine. That's you need, right. You need one of them in separate bags. Say again? One of them in separate bags. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind. So then I can go and do that. Yeah, this would be perfect. So we're gonna get some platies, we're gonna get some mollies. And we're gonna go ahead and cure our fish, yo. All right, Slayer, so we made it back and 
This is our quarantine area. Like I said, I have been using quick gear for some time and this should be able to go ahead and rid of my parasites. Now what sucks is they're still on them. If you, if I can zoom in, they're still there. Look at them. Moving around, inching around and stuff like that. So that's quite annoying that they're still there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add the fish that I got at Beverly's so they can go ahead and eat off the crawfish. So let's go ahead and add them right now to the tank. All right, Slayer, so we have finally acclimated our cleanup crew. Now, I like the yellow ones. I do like the yellow ones. And we got some mixed platies as well. They're gonna help me get rid of all the planaria. Now, I did do a water change completely to this, almost 100%, then cycled the water and everything like that. So it's been a couple days since we were doing the videos and stuff like that, but we're ready to go. That's right, we're ready to go. I've medicated this tank, we're all good, and these guys are to help me get rid of my planaria. Hopefully they're all gone. So um, these guys are known for breeding, so we're not gonna have a whole bunch. Might have to set up a, that little pond outside for these guys. Who knows, who knows? I've always wanted platies, but uh, not in this type of situation, not in an emergency situation. So let's go ahead and now, look at that. They're gonna start cleaning up. They're already starting to eat and everything like that. So let's go ahead and add our crawfish right now. Here they are, blue as can be. All right, so I'm gonna go grab Blue. There's Blue, as you can see, he's pretty blue. All right, going down the hatch. Goodbye, my friend. So let's go ahead and add Crayola. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this guy. So I don't have a name for this guy. The Big Swole Man. This guy always pinches me. He actually pinched me on uh, Zach's video, but this guy's huge. Monster guys in the comments below. Why don't you go ahead and name this big guy? Cause we already have Mama Croc. He's the one who's always having babies, so like Mama Croc kind of just stuck. But we have, we have Crayola, and then we have Blue in the back, and then we have our guys right here. Alrighty, guys, we are outside now because you guys have been asking about a crayfish baby update, and here you go. There they are. They're in there. They're all up in there. Now I have to go ahead and sift through the muck, but they're in there. There's a lot. This is a better opportunity for them to survive against the crayfish mama. So here we go. I'm gonna try to find some for you. This is a lot harder when you can't see them. But they're doing good. So you can see guys, hold on. So you can see, let me let me see if you guys can see. Hold on, I'm gonna put them right here. Hey, that's a good idea actually. I'm gonna see if I can catch them all and put them right there. But look guys, they're getting so big. So big, so I'm gonna put that guy right there, relax. Come on. Here you go. Here's this probably one of the smaller ones. I'm not really developing that well compared to this one. This guy has been eating up like crazy. As you can see, he's getting big. And then here's a little guy. Well, let me see if I can get some more. All right, here, here's another one. As you can see, guys, they're small little guys. They're growing up, though. They're growing up. So let's see how many we have left. I'm gonna try to sift through here a little more. This is kind of gross. I just felt another one. So oh, here's another little guy. Hey, buddy. There you go. See, there's there's plenty. There's plenty in here. I got another guy right here. See that guy? I got another little guy. Whoa. Relax, guy. Go back there. That's like my crayfish container right there in the meantime. So let's see. Oh, I feel a couple. Oh, look at this one. This one's pretty big. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're going to put that guy right there, too. And let me see. Let me see if there's any more. I felt like there's a giant in here. Look at that. Let me see if I can get in the light, guys. Not the best angle. Oh, I just dropped him. Crap. Oh, here we go. Got another guy. All right, look at this guy. So you guys get the idea. Crawfish are good. Ow, ow, he's pinching me. The little guy's pinching me. So you guys get the idea. Like I was saying, there is a whole bunch of crawfish in there. I'm not too sure how many, but you know what? Let's have some fun. Guys, in the comments below, do you guys want me to go ahead and actually fish for all the baby crawfish to see how many there are? Like, I think, based on what I felt, there's like 10 or 12. So... But yeah, that's the idea, guys. They're they're in there. It's not the cleanest thing right now, because obviously there's a lot of muck, as you can see. But we're gonna be cleaning this up soon and making a video of it. So let's go ahead and check out our mama crawfish. All right, Slayer. So here's mama crawfish's enclosure. In. What's what's going on here? Are those eggs? Don't tell me that. Are those eggs, guys? Oh my God, those are eggs. Oh, that's a baby crawfish. What's going on? Guys, in the comments below, let me know what's happening. Did she drop her eggs? So I put it in here. I didn't put any gravel in here so she can just hold on and hide because this is pretty much the same little decoration she had before, but this is odd. Oh my God. 
the planaria, the, the little white worms, those evil white worms decided to go ahead and attack her, I guess, or something. She dropped a lot of eggs. She's deep in there. I think she still has some worms on her, too. So she's not going to be alone. Maybe these platys can go ahead and get rid of the worms, too. I've been treating her as well. But uh, I've been doing water changes, too, because it dyes the water blue, that medication. So let's go ahead and add these platys. So the platys have acclimated. I went ahead and put them inside. And they look pretty cool in the tank. But I'm really concerned now that these eggs have been falling down, guys. Okay, there's, there's little crawfish there forming. I don't know what happened. Are those developed? Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Guys, there's baby crawfish in here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So those are eggs are not fertile, I guess, and these are baby crawfish. Guys, those are baby crawfish 100%. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I got I got to get these platys out now cuz I guess the baby crawfish will feed on the eggs. I don't I don't know, guys. This is crazy. I did not expect this. Oh my god. That's baby crawfish. Those are baby crawfish, guys. Oh. And that's perfect. That's a shrimp tank. They won't really get sucked in. But, oh my god, we have baby crawfish. I wonder how many more baby crawfish we have. Alright, we gotta get you out of here, bro. You can't eat my crawfish. Well, guys, this is kind of insane. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up to see what happens. How many baby crawfish do we have here, guys? We have eggs. We have baby crawfish on the eggs. Dead planaria. And that mom is still there. So, the baby crawfish are alive and well. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch, guys. So she laid her eggs. So I'm going to clean up the eggs and stuff. But look at this, guys. There's baby crawfish on her eggs. We did it again. So it's not completely failed. So I'll, hopefully these turn out to be blue. But I've never seen blue baby crawfish at all. As in, like, what they look like when they're first born. But these look like regular. So I can't be mad. But look, baby crawfish. All right, guys. We're, uh, we're parents again. <laughs> We did it! So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to update you guys on that. I'm gonna, I might actually leave these things in here. Because I believe the baby crawfish are feeding on this. Yeah, what you see here guys, those are the dead worms. Those are the dead planaria. Those little worms and everything, those are all dead because they didn't have food to feed on. I'm out here blaming the planaria for dropping the eggs, but it's because she dropped her eggs. All these, I guess, are infertile. Which is weird because I've seen them on other crawfish, other blue crawfish that they usually turn into blue crawfish, but look at that. We got baby crawfish, guys. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh yeah, 100%. So they're going to go ahead and live with mom and we're going to keep them in here and nurture them very well and put them in the pond as you saw outside, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah!